Do 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 opening mail packs. The video where I open my mail as if it's sealed boosters because I forgot what I ordered. Leah filming another mail pack today. Got one from Card Kingdom. It's a pretty thick envelope today. I'll crack it open. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. All the cards look right side up this time, so. Leyline of the Void, a uh, modern graveyard removal at its finest. Lightning Bolt. So we're working on uh, collecting lightning bolts for the lightning bolt binder. Here is another lightning bolt for the lightning bolt binder. Maybe we're going to pull that out at the end of this uh, mail pack and sleeve us up some lightning bolts. Yeah, lightning bolts. Mm -hmm. Didn't even notice. So this one's got the, uh, I don't know if you, how well you can see it. We've got an etched one. It's a little uh, gold in the corner here, a little gold down at the text box, but that's it. It's pretty lightly etched. Working on a good lighting bolt. Village Rights. So I bought this card because I wanted a few of these in my collection. The background on the art here. I'll zoom it way, way into the camera. So all these uh, purple lines back there that are behind him. Centering this horribly there. These purple lines behind him. All the, the little vertical dashes. So there was a book called Harold and the Purple Crayon. This book is for three and four-year-olds, but it is a book that I had as a three and four-year-old. And that's just what his background reminds me of when Harold drew a city on the walls of his house. And picking up a, just an elder dragon that I didn't crack open. Stadium that I didn't crack open, but it was available. Time of Need looked like it would be an interesting tutor. There's a lot more legendary creatures in the world of magic than there ever have been before. So this has a much stronger possibility to find something you might want than it ever did before. So, pick one up. So the Parhelion 2 has always kind of interested me me. I think it's just a funny card. It's completely... A, it's a pretty janky card, but if you just wanted a big funny beater, this card really works. A couple of those. Honor of the Pier. So, just working on foiling out my collection of M10. It's a very pretty foil, actually. couple of those. They look in... first one seems to have a dent in the corner. I don't know if they caught this. Will it show up on camera? No, it won't. It looks like a, an indentation of another card, like it was slightly folded over another card. Last card, I saw this in my friend's daughter's unicorn deck and thought, why don't I own this? I need to own this. I now own this. Yep, that that's our mail pack for the day. Gonna set these aside real quick. Grab our. If you saw the the burn deck tech, then you've seen the uh, the lightning bolt binder. If you have not seen the burn deck tech, then 
the massive collection of lightning bolts is a new surprise. I'm going to just find a spot in the lightning bolt binder that we can stick some new lightning bolts. So I'll put a page back here. So we've got a couple of regular ones and an etched foil one. Sleeve them up real nice. Perfect fit. Penny sleeve. In it goes. Do the other one the same way. Perfect fit. And the penny sleeve. When I was looking for binders, I heard rumor that this uh, textured surface here in the black can potentially scratch the card, so I always sleeve in these with a sleeve over the card. I don't know how true that is. I haven't shoved cards in and out of this binder to find that out. If you want to know a lot more about the uh, lightning bolt binder, the uh, Burn Deck Tech is the place where I gave up on talking about Burn and ended up talking about lightning bolts for about five minutes. <laughs>